Do you ever feel lonely and sad and slightly depressed on Valentine's Day? Well, do we have the solution for you, the Love Cologne! You'll have all the ladies nipping at your heels in no time. Look at this cologne in action. It works great. For five easy payments of 1025, you can get two one ounce bottles of Love Cologne. Side effects may include stalkers, creepers, and other people who not feel the need to watch you. Also, nausea, headache, dry throat, and sickness contracted from stalkers, or even death. Please use with caution. The Love Cologne. Never be alone on Valentine's Day again. Good morning, Charlotte Christian, and welcome to February 14, 2017. Happy Valentine's Day to all you lovers out there. That's not true. Valentine's Day is for everyone. No, it's not. It's only for the lovers. That's not true. Okay, well, regardless, here are your announcements today. Charlotte Mecklenburg Park and Recreation is now hiring lifeguards for this summer. There is a certification course for $165. If you complete this course, you will get the lifeguard position and get reimbursed all $165. Come to the office for more details. Juniors are applying for National Art Society. There will be a lunch meeting tomorrow in the McGinn's room. Wednesday's assembly time will be a digital citizenship in homeroom, and Thursday's chapel will feature Mr. Giller as the speaker in the gym. Today's word of the day is convey. Convey is a verb. Convey means to bring or communicate. Here's an example. In Mrs. Simborsu's class, the word convey is used too often to discuss the style of office. How will you use convey today? All right, hey guys, this is your black history fact. Okay, so Thurgood Marshall, he was born July 2nd in 1908. He was counsel of NAACP. He eventually went on to Howard University to study law. Um, he won the case for Brown versus Board of Education and he was appointed for Supreme Court. Today's lunch menu is creamy cauliflower bisque, roasted pork loin with onion gravy, chickpea and cauliflower gratin, roasted squash and onions, roasted potatoes, cream spinach, and a nacho bar. On February 23rd, we will visit the Black History Month Chapel with the title, Hidden the Divide. We will have panel pastors that you can ask questions to. Just write your question on index card and place it in a box like this that we place throughout the school. We got today's athletic event shot, Christian. Tonight, home at 7.30, we have varsity boys basketball for South Lake Christian in the first round of the NCAA state playoffs. Be sure to come out to support tonight. And on Friday and Saturday, the NCAA um, state playoffs for wrestling will be taking place. Monday, the varsity co-ed swimming team will compete in the NCAA swimming state championship at the Greensboro Aquatic Center. Come out and support your night, Charlotte Christian. And that's all we have for today, Charlotte Christian. Enjoy the show! Oh. Ah! I can't think of anything profound, but I love her a lot. And she's the most gorgeous, beautiful human being in every way and in all ways. Happy Valentine's Day, Mrs. Beeshold. Yes, that's what I call her. <laughs> all right, happy Valentine's Day, Kara. I'm so grateful for you that God's given you to me, to support me and uh, what we've got going on. I uh, couldn't be happier to be married to any other person. Happy Valentine's Day, I love you. Roses are red, violets are blue. 45 years of marriage and I really love you. 32 years ago today was the first time I went out with my wife Kathy. I took her a pizza and we watched a movie. Best 32 years of my life. I miss you, wish you were here at school today. I'll see you this evening. Happy Valentine's Day. Wanda, I love you babe. Um, I'm so grateful that you are my wife. I've been blessed for over 15 years. Um, hopefully there'll be 60 more, 70 more to come. Uh, happy Valentine's Day. Hi, Joni. Uh, welcome to tonight's news. It's Valentine's Day, and I'd just like to tell you that I love you very much, and I'm really happy for each of the 38 years we've had, and I pray that we have a number more. I love you very much. Outside of um, being saved by Jesus Christ many, many years ago, the best thing that's happened to me in my life is Cassandra that came into my life when I was uh, needed her the most. She's been my best companion, my best friend, and uh, just the best person that I know uh, for the last 31 plus years when we've been married. So, uh, happy Valentine's Day, darling, and, and uh, hope everything goes well for you today. Welcome to the Knights News Newlywed Game, high school edition because they're dating and they're not married yet. So let's get to know the couples. 
We've got uh, Victoria and Colby. Yep. How long have you guys been uh, dating? For around a month. Uh, <laughs> we have uh, Jenna and Jacob. How long have you guys been dating? A year. Wow. All right. uh, we've got Mackenzie and Jonathan. How long have you guys been dating? I don't know. <laughs> Nine months. Okay. And we've got uh, Maddie and Rob. How long have you guys been dating? A long time. <laughs> a year All right. and something. Well, let's uh, <laughs> let's uh, get on to the questions. Wow. Who is your man's That's best ten. friend? Okay. Did you put? I put three. Because oh, I don't know. I can only put one. Amani and Kim. I don't know. I put Amani, Austin, and Kim. No, I don't That's know who it is. <laughs> Sorry. That is true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't even know who it is. That's wrong. You, you can't have more than one. Wrong. Okay. That's okay. Mine. That's it wasn't specified. Ah! No, 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 no. Alright, let's calm down. Just, hey, that wasn't specified. Does not count. She oh, didn't know. Okay, well you don't okay. you don't have a money. She said a money. That's cheating. She said Izzy. She said Izzy. No, no, no. no. Said, no who's your first one listed? Okay, Monty, I don't know. Five. Five. No, that's right. That's right. Jenna and Jacob. Who's the judge? Is that right or wrong? Josh Beard. Wrong. Josh Beard. Josh Beard. Oh. All right. Great. Sinners. Oh well. Good try, Mackenzie. I was gonna put more than one because I know you're friends with Reed, and I didn't think you were gonna go with your school friend. Well, <laughs> I didn't know you. All right, you fine. don't know my other friends. Yeah. I know Matthew. <laughs> so, uh, Maddie and Ross, go ahead. Two for two. All right, I'm great. So proud of you. What is the nicest gift he's ever gotten? Well, good guess on that one. Put that one. What? I'm not talking yet. <laughs> I said I'm not talking. Yeah. Alright, right. go ahead. Right. Talk, talk to other couples. Uh, right. Right. Yeah! <laughs> nice. nice. Wow. Alright, and uh, Mackenzie and Jonathan? The dub. Oh, and good. Maddie and Rob. No! Typical. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who wears the pants in the relationship? Me, obviously. But he probably said pretty good. Um, definitely me. Um, <laughs> Disagree. This is one of our first disagreements when we just started dating. I said Jacob. Oh, oh, I said she because I thought that's what she would say. <laughs> we share the pants. And, uh, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> Do we get it? Um, I'm being selfish. Boy, you guys got it. Ah. <laughs> Maddie and Rob. Yes. Did you get it? Not really. Well, no, I'm just, <laughs> what color are her eyes? Uh, I say no reason. <laughs> Jenna and Jacob. <laughs> gray. Oh, <laughs> what kind of gray, Alex? Are you kidding? Gray. How can you have gray eyes? Uh, what is your to Maddie and Rob? All right, good. What is uh, her biggest pet peeve about about the guys? Yeah. Oh, okay. Can you read that? He calls me <laughs> <laughs> that what he said? I should have put that. I forgot. Uh, <laughs> so I just wrote a real question. No. no. When he says you mad crush. You mad crush. No, he calls me It's It's pretty much the same thing. Yeah. Okay. What, what's yours? Nope. Uh, I can't wait. Oh, there, hey, there you go. Yeah, that's funny. There's a lot of things for Maddie. Doesn't All right, um, Maddie and Rob. Yeah. We don't have for that. They sing in the car. No, I said you like not. Oh, yeah, always. I always say <laughs> But don't, you don't like when I do that? Um, Jenna and Jacob, and um, Rob and Maddie. We tied? We yeah. tied? Yes! <laughs> that, that come in last? What? Okay, what did you say? If you had no idea. That doesn't count! count. Okay, obviously Winners! Okay, I only got one How did we We have to have a tie In the end, we learned that relationships are complicated and that love is always in the air. Happy Valentine's Day. Hey Charlotte Christian School, so as you all know, today is Valentine's Day. But how good of a job do we really do at showing our loved ones that we really care about them? Not a very good job. Yeah, that's right. So, we got advice from the wisest of the Charlotte Christian School students to make this Valentine's Day one our loved ones will never forget. It's gonna be pretty good. Enjoy. What is the best Valentine's Day gift? Um, I, I think it's the love. A heart package and when you open it, it's a lot of Chocolate and candy. <laughs> candy. I would think that not something from like a store giving a hug or something like a memory. Heart package. Heart package. Yeah. 
heart-shaped candy. Um, chocolate. A box of chocolate. Some of your friends or family members can send you a card. That means they love you. Love. And what is the best way to show someone that you care about them? out with a subject that they're struggling with. Like being nice to them is someone's like